Hey guys, welcome to my video and it's your lucky day newbies. I decided to make a guide for active module. Um, a lot of people uh, seem to have trouble uh, figuring this out. So allow me to be your war robots professor and uh, I will once again help out the newbies. So I guess it's safe to say I am the war robots professor. Now what is what is an active module? It's basically this thing right here. So to make it all easy for all the newbies, um, you go to your hangar and you click on your robot and you, it's this thing right here you can set up. And if you didn't know what this was, this will blow your mind. Also don't feel bad if you're a newbie, uh, we've always been there and with the active module, um, there are a bunch of them. Because there are so many of them, you're probably confused. So let's look at all the active modules one by one. The first one I will talk about is the repair unit. I mean, the, the name says it all, but uh, let, let's just go over the specs. What is it? It repairs 25% of uh, your robot's health for over 5 seconds, and the cooldown is 20 seconds. So if you can't memorize it, just screenshot this scene. So the cost is 20 power cells per use. And now when do people use it? Um, people use it when, when they're fighting one versus one. Most people just use it on their tanky robots because uh, it heals by percentage. So if you have a lot of HP, um, basically you're healing more than other robots that have lower HP. So tanky robots go well with the repair unit. Now there's a premium version of this, which I will talk next, but keep in mind that you want to use this after an engagement. Here's a footage of me using it. It basically just heals up my robot. So it's pretty simple. Okay, moving on to the next advanced repair unit. Same thing, but it does more. Now, I will show you the specs in a moment. Yes. So yeah, again, if you can't if you can't remember what it does, if you can't remember all the specs, uh, screenshot this page. Now, um, advanced repair unit is very interesting. Although the idea is the same with the regular repair unit, it repairs 40% of its HP over 4 seconds. The cooldown is 20 seconds. The cost, of course, is 40 power cell per use. It's much more. Now, when is it best to use them? It's a little bit different because um, although you would you want to use it on tanky robots and uh, when you're fighting one versus one, remember how I said uh, repair unit use it after an engagement. Well, Advanced Repair Unit heals so much that if you're using it on a tanky robot, it's very efficient to use it during the battle, um, during an engagement when you're fighting basically. Now the tankiest bot in the game at the moment, other than the Titan, is the Traditionalist Falcon and I've used it on this. Just to really show you guys how um, efficient it is, if you pair that up with like the tankiest robot in the game, you can just walk in there and everyone will be shooting at you. But you're repairing now you're repairing so much and you're repairing on the tankiest robot in the game so basically you can pull off strategies like holding a beacon um, as you guys can see or threatening a beacon uh, you can basically walk up to a beacon um, and really just sit on there and a lot of people will try to defend that beacon but the damage that's going to be done tactically um, it it can really change the game so basically like a bunch of guys are trying to kill me but I'm healing so it, this actually surprises both sides I, I'm just questioning myself I'm not dead yet and enemies are like he's not dead yet now let's move on to death mark now this helmet looking thing skull helmet looking thing is very interesting tactically because it requires a little bit of teamwork really um, basically what it does is it causes one enemy player that you use it on to receive 20% more damage. Enemies receiving 20% more damage, by that I mean not just from you, also from your teammates, your allies. So that's why I kind of said it requires a little bit of teamwork and it's, um, the duration is 6 seconds and 25 second cooldown. Uh, the death mark will reach up to 600 meters. So campers can also use this and have fun. So the cost is 40 power cells. Now strategically, you want to use it on players without phase shift, which I will mention later on in the video. Um, use it on titans, preferably because they're very tanky. And I have found this useful on um, players that tend to threaten my beacon. Now this will actually be more useful with 
uh, high burst weapons. Now this is a pretty good combination that I would recommend with a cryogenic weapon that does extra damage when the ice effect gets accumulated and on top of that uh, Raven's jump which allows extra damage and death mark on top of that I was able to do a lot of damage to that titan. Let's move on to the next one which is the lockdown ammo. So just like its name it locks enemies down but how your weapons ammunition basically turns into lockdown ammo because energy weapons and bullets hit enemies pretty fast it instantly locks down enemies so the duration is five seconds and once you lock down enemies they're immobilized for five seconds and uh, this module is 25 seconds cooldown cost is on the cheap side it's 20 power cells and um, with splash damage weapons, the splash damage effect actually locks down enemies as well. So keep that in mind. Now strategically, you want to use it on against fast robots. Um, so it's easier to aim and easier to target uh, those fast robots to kill them. Now there's a passive module called anti-control. That actually counters this module. So if enemies are not getting locked down, then they have anti-control. So use it against tanky robots that is really threatening your beacon and use it against titans because they don't have anti-control uh, meaning that they're, they will always get locked down. Now let's let's check out a footage here. Uh, there's an Arthur and I have the Amber that goes that bypasses its shield and it's, it's normally hard to aim fast bots with the Amber but in this case I'm able to bypass uh, Arthur's incredible shield and able to just land all my flames on these titans because I locked them down. So it, as you can see it's pretty effective. Next up is phase shift and this is basically how it works. Peace out. So that's how it works. Um, you've seen it. Phase shift is it basically temporarily immunes all damage. Um, peace out. Uh, for. For duration is 3 seconds and the cooldown is 35 seconds. Now during this time the robot, your robot, can't shoot or repair allies. Um, now your shield will not receive damage during this activation. Um, also uh, once you use this module, um, lockdown ha is neutralized and you are able to move around. Uh, also the supp suppression and damage over time um, is also gone for that period so, and the cost of course is on the expensive side 40 power cell per use personally i think this is probably the strongest active module and uh, of course strongest meaning most popular and strategically you can you can change beacons during the phase shift you have you have an edge over one on one fights and I also found very efficient on robots that have longer cooldowns because obviously they're not protected during um, without their ability. And if you have a phase shift equipped robot um, in your hangar, um, pull it out when you're going against uh, more dominant robots that have high firepower just to avoid their firepower, avoid their firepower or their ability. So basically I'm against this guy and I go IP by pressing this button I am basically saying peace out and here's another case where uh, where I felt I was about to die or to just to save my last stand I peaced out and I'm able to unload my bullets on this guy are you guys annoyed by stealth robots then quantum radar is way to go um, and I recommend uh, you guys to have one quantum radar build in your hangar um, you're, with this, you're able to aim robots in stealth basically. Um, duration is 6 seconds. Cooldown is on the short side, 25 seconds. Um, the cost is also on the cheaper side, 20 power cell per use. Strategically, uh, you, you basically, like, just like I said, you basically want to keep one robot with this module. Um, otherwise, if Loki or Aljun appear out of nowhere, it's just super annoying. You just have to take all the damage from them. So during the game, you could be pretty annoyed <laughs> against stealth bots uh, because you don't have quantum radar. 
um, equipped in your hangar. How it works is basically you activate, you can see stealth bots, and you can kick some butt. Shield Breaker is another one if you're annoyed by Pantheon bots. Uh, I say this especially against Pantheon bots because their shield is unbreakable. Now, what it does, this basically like its name. So with this module, you can shoot through enemies, uh, ro enemy robot energy shield. Uh, that is energy shield only. And now that includes absorber or retribution shield. And it does that for six seconds. And the cooldown is 25 seconds. So it's on the cheaper side, cost is 20 power cells. Now strategically, you basically want to use it on against Pantheon robots or uh, possibly Bulwark as well. But the Bulwark also has physical shields, so it can be pretty situational against those guys. So yeah, if you're ha basically having trouble with uh, guys with purple shield, um, here's something that you want to think about equipping on your robots. And now here's a little bit um, me just breaking through or ignoring, bypassing this uh, Kelberus energy shield. And now I'm going against another Ares, but now I have my shield breaker activated. This guy just gets owned. Now that was all the modules that's in the game so far. Now my recommendation is try them all. You have to try them all. Um, that is the best way to understand them. Pair it up with your style of gameplay. I mean, that's the whole fun in this game. Also be creative, um, be un unexpected. Counter gameplay is very psychological. So being unexpected is pretty lethal. Now be flexible as well. Uh, pair it up with certain pilot skills, uh, something that you want to think about and use it efficiently and don't waste power cells. That was the end of the video. I hope I hope it, this video helps uh, a lot of newbies or new players. And uh, if you if you happen to like my video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. I'll catch you guys on the next video.